Today we're out by the Delaware Bay region. We're performing a dye test um, to see the dilution impact of, of potential pollution sources that are coming out of Stowe Creek and tributaries that may be reaching the Delaware Bay. We have a lot of marshland and a lot of wildlife and, and other sources that could contribute bacteria that cause the water quality to not meet shellfish program criteria. What we did was we put the dye in on, on an outgoing tide so we know it's heading towards the bay. And we're, we're going to track how far that goes out into the bay and what concentration that is when it reaches the bay. Um, for, for that, there's boats that are towing fluorometers around to measure the low levels that may be in the water column that may not be visible by the eye. The dye would act pretty much um, mimicking what, what we'd say is a pollution source. What our goal is, is to find out where it's safe, where we need to, to have a restricted line to not allow the shellfish harvest, but to open up vast areas that currently aren't now open to shellfish harvest. Having high quality product come from New Jersey is a good thing for the shellfish industry because if people get sick, then people won't, won't want to eat shellfish. So, so it's, a, it's a fine balance. So it's the opportunity of how to open up opportunities, but still protect public health.